Harari, Zimbabwe's ruling party accused the head of the armed forces of treason on Tuesday as troops took up positions around the capital in an escalation of a dispute with 93-year-old President Robert Mugabe over political succession. Just 24 hours after military chief General Constantino Chiwenga threatened to intervene to end a purge in the ruling party, a Reuters reporter saw six armored personnel carriers on major thoroughfares on the outskirts of the capital. Aggressive soldiers directing traffic told passing cars to keep moving through the darkness. Don't try anything funny. Just go, one soldier said on Harare Drive. The presence of troops, including the movement of at least six armored personnel carriers from a barracks northwest of Harare, sparked rumors of coup against Mugabe, although there was no evidence to suggest Zimbabwe's leader of the last 37 years had been toppled. The lead item on the ZBC state broadcaster's evening news bulletin was an anti-military rally by the youth wing of Mugabe's ZANU-PF party. The U.S. Embassy in Zimbabwe warned its citizens in the country to shelter in place due to ongoing political uncertainty as the crisis threatening President Robert Mugabe's government deepened. U.S. citizens in Zimbabwe are encouraged to shelter in place until further notice, the embassy in Harare said in a statement. The southern African nation has been on edge since Monday when Chai Winga, commander of Zimbabwe Defense Forces, said he was prepared to step in to end a purge of supporters of a sacked vice president. The unprecedented statement represents an escalation of a rumbling political struggle over who will succeed Mugabe, who has been in power since the country gained independence from Britain in 1980. Mugabe chaired a weekly cabinet meeting in the capital on Tuesday. Afterwards, ZANU-PF said it stood by the primacy of politics over the gun and accused Chai Winga of treasonable conduct. Meant to incite insurrection. Mugabe fired Vice President Emerson Nangagwe last week. The veteran of the 1970s Liberation War was popular with the military and had been seen as a likely successor to Mugabe. The army views his removal as part of a purge of independence-era figures to pave the way for Mugabe to hand power to his wife Grace Mugabe. A Reuters witness saw two armored vehicles parked beside the main road from Harare to Chinyoyi, about 20 kilometers, 14 miles, from the city. One, which was pointed in the direction of the capital, had come off its tracks. Witnesses said they saw four armored vehicles turn before reaching Harare and head towards the Presidential Guard compound in a suburb on the outskirts of Harare. There were about four tanks and they turned right here, you can see markings on the road, one witness on the Chinyoyi Highway said, referring to the armored vehicles. He pointed to a road that links to the guard compound. The troop movements raise tension on a continent where for decades armies regularly overthrew civilian governments. Defending our revolution. Neither the president nor his wife responded in public to the general's remarks and state media did not publish Chai Wenga's statement. The Herald newspaper posted some of the comments on its Twitter page but deleted them.